In this video, I want to just give you a couple basics. Let's say you've just installed your AF5000. You really don't know how it works. Notice there's a row of buttons on the bottom. We call this button one. There's three knobs. Notice the flag. Right now, this knob is either course or heading. The flag is on course. That means it's course. That is like the OBS knob. If we want heading, you touch heading. Now this adjusts the heading buck. Same with altitude. This knob is altitude or V speed. This knob then is either barrel or range. Notice with no map on here, the range button really doesn't do anything, but we do one clever thing. We actually, if you have a full screen remote one and you adjust the knob, notice it runs the other screen. So some of the other, this is your airspeed, your altitude. This is your trim positions, pitch and roll, flat positions. This can be set up to stay always on or it actually disappear. And then if you just bump it, it'll pop back up. Starting at the left over here, this is the clock, outside air temperature. This is your CDI needle. That's the magenta here. It's either magenta for GPS or green if it's nav. Next one is a bearing needle. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I touch it, bearing needle. Let's select the source, GNAV1. Notice it's the yellow outline, they're lined up. That's a bearing needle. Let's turn it off and hit back. Waypoint ID, you have Corvallis, the distance, the track, estimated time and route. The next one is your transponder menu. You can touch it at any time. This is where you enter your transponder codes. Audio panel, you can touch it. Currently, you can see we're transmitting and receiving on COM1 and we're not listening. So let's say we want to listen on COM2. Now we're listening on COM1, COM2, and transmitting on COM1. And notice it changes up here. So you can always see from this menu what the current audio panel settings are. This next menu, this is your autopilot menu. The middle of it tells you what direct, if it's on, off. Right now it's blue, which means it's off. If we turn on the autopilot, notice it turns green. You can hear the autopilot turn on. So let's turn it off. This is your lateral mode on the left and your vertical mode on the right. So lateral is track right now. That means follow a GPS ground track to your heading bug. Heading is magnetic. Notice it'll change the heading now. And you notice it's yellow and the bug changed to yellow. Vertical, notice it says VS, that means vertical speed. It's gonna climb at whatever vertical speed you have set right here with the vertical speed bugs. Right now it looks like we're at about 800. And it's in arm mode. That's what this yellow is. That means if all of a sudden we get a glide slope, it'll capture and fly the glide slope. Same with nav. Notice nav is not arm, let's arm nav. Now it turns yellow as soon as the CDI and we're moving, the CDI is within 80% and the track is within 45 degrees, it'll change to green and switch to nav mode. And these will also change to show you that. So these autopilot, this is where you can turn on the flight director on and off, heading, track. This is altitude mode, vertical speed or indicated airspeed or vertical flight plan. You also have buttons down here for 180 degree turn in level mode. And this is nose up, this adjusts your vertical speed or indicated airspeed climbs. In this plane, we have our yaw damper. So notice the yaw damper is yellow, which means it'll turn on and off with the autopilot. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. So that's the autopilot menu. This is your current magnetic heading. We're at 198 degrees. Notice it's got a white border. Anytime it's a white border, that's magnetic. If it was GPS based, it would be a magenta. Now on our map, Notice over here, currently this is white, which means it's using magnetic. If we were actually flying, our map will switch over and use GPS ground track and this border will turn magenta. So moving down, uh, this shows you your true airspeed, your ground speed, that's GPS. The little green thing is your flight path marker. That is where the airplane's actually moving in 3D space. So if you have a wind from the left, it'll be blown over to the left side. Or if you're descending, it'll be down. The top bug is your altitude bug. Right now it's at 1,200 feet. Let's go ahead and adjust it. So let's say we're gonna take off and go to 2,500 feet. Now it's at 2,500. Notice the bug is off, slightly off the scale. That's because we're below it. You can see this little tiny bug, that is the minimums bug, and it's at 500. The way you adjust it is hit set first and then minimum altitude. So I'm gonna adjust it. 
Let's make it 300 feet, and you'll get a warning at minimums. So notice now, 300 feet's the minimums bug, and it's down right there. Moving down, this is your current barrow setting. There's a couple ways to do this. You can push the button here and turn the knob. So let's say it's 2992, we'll turn it to 2992. You could also touch here and then turn the knob, or you can just type 2992 into the touch menu, or all of our menus, not only do you have the touch screen, but in case of turbulence, this bottom row is a convenient push button so to use. AGL, that comes from our database as well as GPS altitude. So we calculate how far above you are above the ground at all times and report it there. And this is the wind, current wind calculation, crosswind, direction, knots, where it's coming from.